Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! This is nice dog. Hey! Oh! Catch him back! Let's catch him up. Woo! Catch him up fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish! Catch him up. You guys, she's gonna catch some bait for us. This was so hard. Actually, you know what? Go, go with her. She's gonna catch. Some bait. Just use the poof. Oh my god! So we need to get some bait again. Look how much bait there is straight down. Look to the right, to the right, to the right. Look at that. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh, there it is. He's hungry. He's hungry. We need a bait fish. So then catch a bait fish. Go ahead. Hurry. Okay. Where do I look? Look at this big old bass, dude. Oh, he's right there. Look at him. Look at the bass. He's trying to hang out with all the carp. Oh, oh. oh I have one left, Timmy. Timmy, I have one left. Let her catch, let her catch more. But I have one left right here. Come on. Come on. I know he will catch a bait fish. Catch one. Come on. Unless I can catch one right here. Dang it. <laughs> hey, Mr. Koi. I think I got him. Mr. Koi. Did I get him? No, I got a koi. And something else. Not what I wanted. Dang it. I only have one, one more bait fish in here. Dang, I keep getting the same thing. thing. Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god, I got him. I found one. Come on, come on. You still see the bass? Oh, the bass is right there. Look straight down. Straight down, straight down. Where? Some of you are all. There he is. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. He's in the glare. Come on. Come on, baby. All right. Just keep trying to catch a, a bluegill. All right, perfect. Got that bait? Look at the bass right down here. Dang it, this bluegill is lively. I need, to, I need to slow this thing down. This thing is going crazy. Hold on. Here, come on my other side. Come on my other side. Yeah, I'm just going to squish his head a little bit. Just a little bit. See if I can get him. No! Come here. Get down there. Come back to life. Dude. Maybe you squeezed him a little too I hard. I squeezed him a little too hard. She's, gonna, she's trying to catch a lively one right now. Where is that large one? <gasps> the large one's just him. Look, oh. I swear to God. Come on! Come on, come on. Come on, come on, it's a nice dog. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. All right, all right. Oh my God, please don't spit. Please don't spit, please don't spit. Okay, you come here, come here. It's the same one I caught a long time ago. Hold on, yeah, I, I want to. I think I'm gonna flip or die. 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 Yeah. Dude, what's crazy? It's it's the same one with that weird tongue thing. Oh my god. But look how skinny he is. It's tumor mouth. It's a tumor mouth. <laughs> what the heck? This same fish. We did the same thing a long time ago with a bluegill on uh, balloons, we threw that thing out there. We caught this fish already, like, how old was it, a month ago or so? Yeah. This fish came back, but it's still skinny, so it's eating, I can see that it's eating. But guys, it's it's definitely struggling with this thing on its tongue. So oh what I'm gonna do, God. I know, it's really messed up. That thing is disgusting, zoom into that thing. That's yeah, it was. Here, let, let, let's, let's go over here a little bit, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's keep him right here in the water. So we can relax a little bit. Let's get the hook out. Look how he was hooked, bro. I flipped that. I flipped that. Look how oh he was hooked. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Boom. But I'm gonna leave him right here for now. Guard him, make sure he doesn't just jump out, okay? He's gonna eat all the koi. I know, right? I'm gonna keep him right there. He is a little funky. I don't want him to jump out, so just make sure you stand on this side, okay? Alright. So he's doing whatever he's doing right there. He's relaxed. Can you see him? He's relaxed right here. Let that thing just chill there for a second while I figure out what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna try to help him out. I think I can do a little bit of like fish surgery to make sure he gets rid of that big old tumor. It's just a tumor on his tongue. Look at him. He's pretty good. He's just a really thin for his size, you know? Mm -hmm. He's pretty thin, so. I don't know, we were trying to get him earlier today. We were just about to leave and this guy showed up. He wanted another bluegill just like he ate last time. Now he's chilling. Yeah. He's chilling, but I could tell it was him because his jaw is weird. And we just caught that thing like months ago. It's, we caught the same fish in this whole lake. Look at this lake. In this lake, in this whole pond, we caught that same fish 
ridiculous. So it's crazy because I really haven't seen that many largemouth bass out here. I saw that one giant snook. I think the snook is, are eating like all of the bass. So there's probably a couple larger fish in here, maybe tarpon, snook, whatever. And that's why he's like one of the last ones to survive. Maybe it's because he's diseased that's been like protecting him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like maybe the fish sense that he has like cancer or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna try my best to save this bass. Zoom into that guy's face. He's funky, right? He looks like he's like funky. So I just caught him. He had full energy. You guys saw that cast the catch. This is crazy. I'm gonna go get a knife. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of that thing on his tongue. Oh! Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa. Relax. Relax. All right. Oh. Hey. Catch him, babe. Catch him, babe. Hey. Uh huh. Make sure this thing doesn't jump out. Okay. Stay here with the. No! Ah! Don't throw bread at it. <laughs> That's not gonna help. Just, Maybe just keep him. Hungry. No, he doesn't want bread. Stop throwing bread. <laughs> Stop, Stop it. <laughs> just keep him over there. Why? Hey, look, look, Why don't you put him deeper? Look, look. That's actually a good idea. But I have all the koi and stuff over there. I want to put him over there. And it's gonna be hard to catch him out. And I don't want to stress him any more than he is. So stay right by the. Just fence. stay right here. Look, if that bass goes past this line, push him back that way. Okay. Okay. So stay right here. It's up to you. You have. It's up to you. One job. <laughs> you have one job. Yeah, I touch you with fish. Oh, all right, you touch me with fish all the time. Good one. We brought everything we could possibly need right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this large mouth and I'm gonna try to perform some type of surgery on him to get rid of that tumor on his tongue because it's gotta be difficult to catch fish. That's why it's skinny. That's why it keeps showing up to all the baits that we present to him versus catching anything else. This is literally the only fish that we've been catching with live bait back here aside from that big old snook. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up first. It's a lot of water catching bay. We've been doing a good job. Oh god. Keeping this guy in here. I'm sorry. Yeah, we <laughs> just walked through the jungle. Good job, girl. Got some fish in the ends. Yeah, he's, he's chilling. chilling he's spooked like catching bay. Alright, come on. Just seeing which is enough water right now. I just want enough water to keep them kind of submerged. So I'm gonna get one more, one more big scoop of water. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? <laughs> All right, boom. All right, that should be enough. Now I gotta grab this fish. I'm gonna perform some surgery, guys. That here, the knife is right there. And I'm gonna have Ketchum Bay help me out holding this fish while I do the surgery. So that's good right here. Knife right here. Knife, everyone. Put the knife right there. Now let's go get the fish, come on. Watch out, the knife is out of the way. You won't. As I step on the knife. <laughs> <laughs> come on. All right, check it out. I'm gonna grab this fish, catch him bay. I'm gonna use the net. Come over here and defend me. I'm gonna try to grab this fish with my hand. Make sure this, make sure this fish does not jump out. All right, seriously. Yeah, make sure the fish doesn't jump out and escape me. Now, with a lot of these predatory fish, if you grab them by their gills right there, they're completely immobilized, right? I've tried it with carp or koi, it does not work at all. <laughs> Peacock bass, largemouth, it always seems to work. Okay, cool. So now catch him, babe. You could just bring that net, to, to drop it, whatever. You want me to bring it? No, you don't need it, come on. We'll need your help. You see I'm holding this fish? Oh, oh yeah. Come on, take a seat. Let me take off my shoes. I need it immobilized, just like this. Great. Okay. Give it some water from time to time, let me tell you. All right, I want you to grab them just not too hard, just like that to immobilize them. Get some water through their gills. Now come on over here, just like that. Get close, but not too close, okay? I'm gonna what go does ahead. it feel like? If you wanna feel that? No, go ahead. I'm asking you. It feels like, just like the skin. Oh. It's like actually pretty hard, <gasps> but zoom into that, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> He's an angler bag. <laughs> yeah. It does, it's like an angler fish. So this is just a tumor. Just keep giving him some water. He might splash us a little bit. Ouch. So just put hands right there, nice and gentle. Don't want to squish him too bad. Now I'm gonna see if I can get rid of this thing for him. But if he moves too much, he might cut my finger, you know? He really shouldn't start kicking that off. Okay, ready? Go. Oh. Hold him. Oh. He's good, stop it. It's good. Okay. Almost done, buddy. Boom. Wow. Yep, it's a really sharp knife. Look, that's a tumor. There's no blood or anything. 
There's no blood. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and clean. Look at that tongue. Oh my god. Looks great, huh? Holy Zoom crap, into where it. did it go? I know. It's right in my hand. It's a freaking tumor. Can I touch it? Yeah, That's you can crazy. touch it. It's like an eyeball, right? Oh, yeah. Crap. And now, now this girl, this girl's gonna eat. Look at that. Solid fish. Perfect, good. You got the tumor in your hand. We're gonna keep that, probably put it in a jar. This is really good. No, I don't. Then go ahead and revive her a little bit. Literally no blood. No blood at all. I'm telling you, that was just a nasty external, external tumor just doing bad things. So zoom into that. Look what we did. Boom. Healed up. Good to go. I cut most of it off. I don't see any, any other lesions or anything like that. Want to check it out? Look, she looks great now, right? Yeah. Looks great, huh? Guys at yeah. home. One more look at her. Amazing. Now I'm gonna send her off. I can feel her, feel her kicking. See you later, girl. Ready? Three, two. Head down. There she is down here. Kick, kick, kick. And see you later. That's it, guys. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you know, I, I threw that bass last time back, and I kept thinking about I was like, dang, I should have gotten rid of that thing on its tongue, but it lasted this long. But you know, they get worse and worse as time goes on. You never know how big that would have gotten. It could have stopped her from eating. So, good job. Ew, that's a nasty high five, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. We got a lot going on right now. We're gonna go to try to catch some snakeheads, man. It's, it's starting to get nice and hot. And she is talking about snakeheads. Timmy behind the camera is talking about snakeheads. So I know you guys are hungry for some snakehead action. We're gonna get some on our bows, maybe rods and reels. We're gonna teach you guys a lot about all these exotic creatures out here. And I have a huge, huge surprise. About yay big, it's got stripes on it. But I got her coming for you guys. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. Drive sauna, baby, and catch them all. Catch them all! Woo! Catch them all!